want to do a quick disclaimer. Hi everyone, I just want to really want to do a quick disclaimer. So first of all, I just want to say hi, welcome to my channel. This is just going to be a quick before we start the video. This video is supposed to be informative. My plus size hauls go without saying that I don't feature loads and loads of clothes and bombard you. I like to order a small quantity of items and really go into depth and detail about the items of clothing. I've been getting a bit of hate recently about talking a lot and calling videos a haul and not featuring loads of clothes um just to bring it down a notch um this is my channel i really enjoy doing what i do and yes i talk fast but i feel like if i don't talk fast i'm not being me so yeah thank you for watching i just want to clear that up because i had a lot of comments previously but yeah Oh my god, it feels so good to be back. Hi everyone, if you're new here, my name is Anna and welcome back to my channel. So I have not put up a plus size video in literally about two weeks and that's for the pure fact of I have been ill, I have not been great. Yeah, um, I had a quite a rough week last week, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't able to film and it just wasn't great. So I'm back this week, I've had this parcel for two weeks, so if this doesn't fit, it's going to be a serious situation because I'm not going to be able to return it. However, I ordered a parcel from a parcel. I didn't order a parcel. I ordered some clothes from ASOS. And, and they're all items of clothing I was eyeing up. Um, and honestly, I've been looking at them for ages. And it was just at the point where I was waiting tediously for that 20% off. I used to be a student. I used to get a discount on ASOS. But since I'm no longer a student, it's sort of run out. So it's very, very tricky to find someone else which has got discount i'm not like i find it difficult to spend money on websites i know where you can get discounts really easy so i tend to wait on websites like boohoo misguided asos because i find it hard to spend that full price money knowing that you're like you're going to order that t-shirt and then tomorrow it's going to be like hi we've got you're going to get an email saying 20 percent off but you literally just paid full price <laughs> well you literally paid just full price so yeah um, I ordered these items of clothing from ASOS. I spent £50 in total and I got four items of clothing. So I thought that was quite good. Um, and there were items of clothing I've been adding up for a long time. As I think I'm pretty sure I just said. So yeah, I'm going to show you today what I got from ASOS. We're going to test out some ASOS plus size clothing. As I've said before in previous videos, ASOS plus size clothes are literally my favourite. So, let's test them out. Well, the one on my bed next to me. Um, I've got some sliders this morning from Topshop. Don't ever shop in top shop I haven't shopped in top shop in years can you find clothes that fit you in there no unless you're like a, a like unless you're like however old and you love a crop top you can shop in there but i got some sliders and i've got a cheeky little handbag as well these sliders are literally cost me 10 pound and then this bag beautiful bag i wanted a new bag and i've been eyeing it up I don't go in Topshop because I don't find clothes to fit me in there. But I saw it in the window and I was like, I really like that. And it was like £28. Oh, I'm going to sell for £10. I, was, I just walked past and I thought I might as well have a look at the accessories. Because I do do lovely accessories, don't get me wrong. And it's just, it's beautiful. And it's like very Chanel-esque. Is it Chanel? Yeah. It's just very Chanel-esque. It's got the, the chain. I mean, I have, I use my Kate Spade bag like literally every day. But I don't want to ruin it, so. Yeah, I got that as well. Move on to ASOS. First thing I got was these trousers. These trousers are from a their ASOS own brand. These are the whole reason I wanted to do this order. So these are what they look like. You're not gonna be able to see them. I, I literally always do this. I don't sit further away enough from the camera. But the thing is, people always comment. People always comment that I need to sit further away. But my problem is my room is tiny so literally that back wall is the back and my window is literally like here so it's a difficult situation and i like to have that right amount of like my room's a mess sometimes i don't want to show you who so <laughs> yeah um however the track to the trousers these trousers i absolutely love um i wanted these i'll insert a picture if i can of what they're supposed to look like so we're going to do an expectations versus reality because have ordered a few things from here and sometimes it doesn't often look like what it's supposed to look like but i got them in a size 22 just because i knew i wanted them to fit they look quite tight on this model and i didn't want to take the risk of them selling out so i ordered them in the bigger size that can sometimes backfire and they can be too big however 
absolutely love the style of them. I'm not going to lie, they look a little bit on the big size. If I'm to show you now quick, they look very big. This can be deceiving and they could actually be really small, but I like them. They've got pockets, they're real pockets, not invisible pockets. They feel like a really lovely material. These cost me £22, I think. I know they were £22. Um, ASOS don't put a sheet in, so I can't remember how much things were. I remember how much all the other stuff in the back was, but... These are £22. Obviously, they had 20% off, um, so if you work that out, it would have been... Below 20, I'm not the best at math. <laughs> so yeah, I just really like them. I feel like I envisioned I bought a top to go with this. And I was really hoping that this started with this. I got two white t-shirts, but the one I got has got something written on it. I thought it looked quite nice with a pair of white trainers that I thought could look quite nice and quite edgy. So I'm hoping it looks right and I hope it fits and looks like I want it to. So yeah, um, let's try them on. So I've got the top on. I love the top a lot more than I thought I would actually. I think I'm actually going to keep this. However, the bottoms are a little bit of a catfish. So right, I'm going to show you. Hopefully you can see. These are what they look like. Why is my room such a mess? Oh my god. These are what they look like. Can you just see? They. I don't feel like they look like the model. I'm going to set the model picture here. Obviously, I know they're too long on me, so I would have to roll them up. And I've sort of rolled this one up. I don't like how they look rolled up. The material as well doesn't... I thought it'd be more stretchy, but they're not. I thought they'd look more like peg trousers. I mean, if they're not rolled up, they literally look like flares on me. They look like I'm going to work. I look like I'm a plumber. <laughs> However, I do really like the top. I'm not going to take it back with the quality. I don't feel like the quality is the best, but... I do really like it on. It's really comfy and it fits really nice too. And I feel like it looks, it'll look really nice with um, a pair of like shorts or something. Shorts. So I'll try this one with the black shorts and um, new look shorts I've got. I really like this. I do like how it fits. I love the length. It's not tight on the arms. So I think I'll probably keep the top. Just, it's a no on the bottoms. Next up, we got, I'll show you what t shirt. The next t shirt I got was this one. This one I picked up purely because I thought it was in the sale. And I really liked it and thought it'd be a quite nice casual t-shirt. It looked really nice and it cost me only, wait for it, £7. I'm unsure whether or not you get 20% off sale items. I'm not sure, so I don't want it to say and quote me on it. But I know this cost me £7 in the sale. Um, I saw it literally five minutes ago when I was on the ASOS website. So I know they're still on it and they still had a ton of sizes. But this is really nice. A lot nicer quality than I thought it was going to be. Um, I love t-shirts with quite high neck so you can probably tell but if you watch my videos I don't wear a lot of v-neck things they're just not really my style and never really have done so yeah this is a white t-shirt and you're probably thinking oh no you've got a white t-shirt what are you going to say about this one um at the bottom it's got this really nice detail um it's got like this tortoise shell like it looks like it's cinching at the side but it's sort of invisible and it's not and it's sort of done by itself and it's got the little tassely bits at the side which we'll be able to see more when I try it on but I just thought this was really really nice and I like I feel like a white t-shirt is a staple in anyone's wardrobe and if you're plus size they can be quite hard to come across and find one which is the right size the right length I mean I don't like a crop top and that is all you can literally find anywhere so I really want to try this out and see if it actually fitted because for seven pound that's cheaper than Primark so I really wanted to give it a go I got this in a size 20 um from personal experiences ASOS does often come up quite big, so I didn't want to get any other bigger than a 20 because I knew, hoped, <laughs> that it would be too big. So I got a 20 and hopefully it fits. I mean, it probably it could be too tight on the arms or the belly or for anywhere for that matter. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be too long, um, too long or too short. It looks like it's going to be the perfect length. So hopefully it fits and hopefully it looks nice. But I think it'll look really nice with maybe a pair of culottes, a pair of shorts, or I really think it'd look nice with a pair of like blue jeans, quite summery, and make sure you don't obviously want to tuck the t-shirt in because you want it to look like it's sort of cinched at the side. So yeah, let's try it on. Um, it's quite, it's obviously very basic, but vision this for a pair of blue jeans. This is the MVP of this video. It was literally seven pound. This detail makes it look really expensive and definitely a bit like Zara-esque. It's definitely the type of length I'd like. I mean, ignore where it's sticking up because it's bow. But um, I really like this. There's not a lot to say about it because it's a white t-shirt. However, it's a really nice length. It's not too thick. 
and it's not see-through and I just feel like it'd be something very easy to wear and you could literally wear it any time of year I really like it I think it makes a normal t-shirt a very dressy t-shirt and I just really like it so I think this can be the only thing I'm keeping from this haul but I really like it and I I think it's such a bargain for £7. Okay, so next up, I got a pair of shorts. Who am I? I literally never wear shorts. Shorts are the one thing which I just don't really seem to get along with very well. I don't like shorts. I have a love-hate. I feel like I know the perfect pair of shorts that I want, but I can't ever find them. I never really know where to get them from. Um, usually I stick to dresses, and that is it in summer. Give it another go this year. I'm going to hit the web. I'm fine a pair of shorts because I just dropped them. I really wanted to find the right pair to show you guys as well. So I got this one, um, this one, these ones. These are from New Look. New Look is a place I find extremely tricky to shop for plus size clothes, honestly. And I got these in a size as 20 and they look really really big like really big they actually look really long as well which i'm not looking forward to i know i don't want really long ones i hate um if this is your type of fashion that's fine i really don't like longish type of shorts for me because i feel like they just don't flatter me the best i've got very short legs so i don't feel like they look the best but sometimes that can also mean making you look a bit funny around your like waist area so honestly it depends how you would choose to wear them and how maybe you would style them i'm going to try them on and see how i can dress them up because these could actually be maybe that they're not casual shorts but they're more dressy ones so we'll see what they look like on and give them a go so i've got the shorts on and i'm really torn i feel like they might be a little bit too long so they're not that flattering on me um they're a good length However, I feel like because they're high-waisted and I'm sure they look really long on me. So I would definitely wear them with a white t-shirt, I feel like. However, I feel like they look like I'm wearing my dad's shorts and I should put a pair of sandals and socks on with them. I just don't really feel like they're very flattering. I mean, if they were like here, I feel like they'd be great. I mean, if someone could take them up for me, it'd be great. And they'd be like my dream shorts. I would wear them all the time. I just don't feel like this. Is very flattering. I feel like they're too close to my knee. They're not the type of style I like. They're not the type of style I like. They've got pockets and they're not see through and they are really comfy though, which is my dilemma. Um, so comment down below what you think. Um, these are the shorts. And again, I got my size 20, and I think this is where I stand before when I buy things off New Look. They always fit really big. They literally come underneath my boobs. Last but not least, I just got another white t-shirt. As I just say, this isn't a huge haul. But it's more or less, I was trying to find a one. I was sort of testing out one outfit. And I picked up a few other pieces. So, yeah. This is a t-shirt I got from a brand I've never tried before called Daisy Street. Um, and quite frankly, um, it says find us on Instagram. So, I'm, I'm not sure if it's like more of a Instagram-based shop. But they sell it on ASOS. And this is a really nice t-shirt. I liked it because I thought it looked really nice with the trousers. This was, I believe, £6. Um, or was it £12? I like it, but I'm a little bit shocked at the quality. The letters just look quite cheaply made. I'm not sure if you can properly see that. I'm not sure if it'll pick up very well on camera. I just don't know if you can tell, like, especially around the O, will the letters, like, are sort of threaded. There's some there as well. It just doesn't look the best quality. It just doesn't really look like the best quality. It just doesn't really look like the best quality in the world. So, I mean, I'll try it and I'll see how it looks. Um, I, In this, I was a little bit unsure on what sizes to get because I know personally as well, for more independent brands, they usually fit a little bit smaller. I went for a size 20 because they didn't actually have the size above and I didn't want to get a 24 or an 18 because I didn't want to go down, but I didn't want to go that far up. Um, but yeah, I got a size 20. It's literally a white t-shirt and I got it to go with those green cargo trousers. So this, the point of this video was I actually wanted to get one whole outfit, but I ended up picking some other bits up. So it was sort of a haul, but it's more or less to try a whole outfit. But yeah, um, I'm going to try this on with them trousers and see what it looks like because I'm really excited to actually see what it all looks like on together. So yeah, let's go ahead and try all the outfits on and see 
how we can style up and see what they look like. So that was it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming this video and I love trying out ASOS clothes. Um, I'm a bit disappointed that I'm pretty sure I'm probably not going to be keeping any of it. I mean, the trousers were really big. Um, I might keep the t-shirt that cost me £7 because I feel like it's really nice. It was a really good price. But um, apart from everything else, I just think it's got to go back. I don't feel like the shorts are most flattering. I feel like this year I'm not about quantity. I'm about quality and I want really nice clothing i'm pretty sure that's all gonna be going back it's a shame because i was really looking forward to styling those type of trousers but they were just a bit of a catfish really um they just didn't fit how they were supposed to so yeah if you like the video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe comment down below any other videos you'd like to see and i will see you in my next one bye